welcome to atcm the emergency medicine channel today we will be discussing about samv mode that is synchronized intermittent mandatory ventilation actually it is a weaning mode that means whenever uh, we uh, after intubating a patient we will be completely sedating and paralyzing the patient at that time you will be keeping the patient either in a volume control mode or pressure control settings but after that when we are planning to wean the patient uh, uh, when the clinical condition of the patient improves we will be planning to wean the patient so that for that we will be using this mode that is samv mode so uh, what this mode actually does is this uh, in this mode we will be able to set a targeted tidal volume we can set a respiratory rate and uh, along with that the ventilator will be sensing for the patient's breath and if at all the patient is triggering a breath the ventilator will support that so that uh, the patient will be able to breathe ventilator will be supporting and uh, we can reach a targeted tidal volume so that is what is uh, done in this mode so uh, for this there is a, a, a suppose if you are keeping the respiratory rate as 10 so every 6 seconds the ventilator will be giving a breath in between that if suppose the patient is triggering a breath in between so that the ventilator will sense that and ventilator will support the patient so that there will not be any uh, issue there or there will not be any breath stacking or any asynchrony happening v uh, ventilator will synchronize with that and uh, next breath will be given accordingly by the ventilator or if at all the patient is taking the next breath the ventilator will synchronize that and ventilator will support that okay so for in this mode there is a synchronization window that means the ventilator will be sensing for the patient to take a trigger and patient's trigger will be sensed by the ventilator so that the ventilator can support it suppose if we are keeping the respiratory rate as suppose um, 10 per minute uh, after the sixth second or just before the sixth second the ventilator will be sensing for the patient's breath and suppose if uh, the patient is triggering the breath then the ventilator will support that okay so uh, how will we select that so uh, in the controls uh, sorry in the modes we will be having the um, volume control modes and pressure control modes in that we will be having the SIMV SIMV will be selected and then we will select the tidal volume the PEEP the FIO2 the respiratory rate I is to E uh, and the trigger usually we will be keeping a very low trigger uh, because it is a weaning mode okay and one advantage is that we can keep a targeted tidal volume so that tidal volume if it all the even if the patient is not very much improved even though the patient is triggering one uh, the ventilator will be supporting that so that uh, the patient will reach that tidal volume and uh, we can set FIO2 also. So, in case of hypoxia, uh, when we are keeping a higher FIO2, patient, uh, patient's oxygenation will not be affected in this mode. Okay. Uh, and uh, these things are, uh, these things can be done in a SIMV mode. So, what is the advantage of this SIMV mode is, uh, the main indication as I told before, it is a weaning mode. And the advantage is that we will be able to wean the patient first of all. Then we can... Uh, uh, the mean arterial pressure will, uh, sorry, the mean airway pressure will not be too high. That means if it uh, usually, if you are keep, uh, if you are completely sedating and paralyzing the patient, uh, there will we will be keeping an inspiratory and expiratory time. So as the inspiratory time increases, the mean airway pressure will increase. That itself can uh, increase the intrathoracic pressure that can affect the cardiac output and everything. So if at all we are keeping the patient in this mode. Uh, the patient, patient will be triggering the breath and all. So, depending on that, uh, there will not be much, um, it will not affect the hemodynamics much because uh, it is synchronizing with the patient. Okay, that is there. Then uh, we can be in the a patient. Then, uh, in case if suppose this patient is not having much efforts to take up full breath since the ventilator is supporting that we can reach a target tidal volume so that there will not be any ventilator uh, any ventilation perfusion mismatch will not be there then other thing is uh, it will avoid respiratory muscle atrophy and respiratory muscle uh, weakness because if the patient is completely sedated and paralyzed for a long time what will happen is uh, this respiratory muscle will get atrophied so if you are keeping in this mode uh, the respiratory muscles will be get used up 
okay uh, these are the advantages and indications of this mode and one complication is that suppose if the patient's uh, primary indication for intubation is not uh, met or if it if that is not resolved and if the patient is still deceased what is happening is if we are if this suppose this patient is having some metabolic acidosis or something this patient will be having um, more respiratory rate, patient will be tachypneic and all and if we are early if we are going into this mode very early what is happening is this patient's uh, will will be having a respiratory fatigue the patient will not be uh, able uh, patient will not be able to sync with that mode so uh, that can cause respiratory fatigue and that can affect the weaning so this is the main disadvantage of this mode so we will have to depending on the patient condition we will have to keep this mode we have to monitor the patient uh, if at all this patient is going uh, for a respiratory fatigue or if at all the patient is able to sync with that depending on that only we will be able to wean and uh, plan on extubating this patient okay thank you